Ooh, Priscilla's actually evolving. I forget what um, Picky Peck evolves into, so let's see. Congratulations, your Priscilla evolved into Trumbeak. Oh, okay. I like Trumbeak's design. It looks really, really cool. Trumbeak's data will be added to the Pokedex. Number 11. Awesome. Yeah, I know. It eats berries and stores their seeds in its beak. When it encounters enemies or prey, it fires off all the seeds in a burst. Hmm. Neat. Hey, the Viola Rules here, and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. So, um, since the last time, like I said I was going to do, I leveled up all of my Pokemon to level 15. Um, one thing that, um, I don't really want to use this party, but, oh, wait. I guess I didn't for Priscilla. Looked, well, I'll level her up in this episode, whatever. Um, but yeah, something I wanted to show is that Vanessa is now holding honey. Um, I did not give this to her. Uh, Cutie Fly will, on occasion, make honey. Because I believe that was a part of uh, Cutie Fly's um, Pokedex entry, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to take that from her. Also, I don't know how, but Mark ended up with a Great Ball. Um, can Pokemon randomly pick up items? Because I honestly have no idea why he's holding a Great Ball, because I did not give this to him. But um, I will take that, though. Thank you. Okay, so let's finally go to Route 3. Trainers who take part in the island challenge and his trials get to see their whole world grow. Oh, well. Cool, and this is Route 3. Like, um... Like our Rotom deck said, it's pretty bare, so the fact that he couldn't find Lily is a little bit weird. Hi. I happened to pass under a moving shadow and got attacked by a wild bird Pokemon. What adorable little pests they are. <laughs> Oh, whatever you say. Actually, yeah, I do need to get ambushed by a uh, bird Pokemon, but yeah. Route 3, watch out for flying Pokemon overhead. Why don't they just, like, make it so that the bird Pokemon can't attack people? Okay, what bird Pokemon is this? Is this one of the ones I don't have? Yes, it is. Rufflet. Okay, let's do this. Um, and since we haven't fought it before, we don't know what works, but let's just do Echoed Voice, because I just want to bring it low. Ruffle use Fury Attack. Yeah, while I was leveling up my Pokemon, there were moves that it gave me the option to have them learn Fury Attack with one of them, and I decided to pass on that, because I felt Peck is more effective. Okay, so this will deal more damage, and wow, that dealt a lot of damage, actually. Rufflet called for help. Yeah, ever since I did the uh, Totem Pokemon battle, where they introduced the mechanic that um, Pokemon can call for help, all the Pokemon and all the battles I've done since then pretty much call for help every single time. Let's try and catch it with a Pokeball and see what happens. I don't think I brought its uh, HP low enough. For that. Yes, nice. Okay, great. Cool, Rufflet's data will be added to the Pokedex. I like Rufflet, it has a very cute design. You're moving along in a nice clip, partner. Keep up the pace and find all the Alola's Pokemon. Yeah, 10% of the Alola Pokedex completed now. And 25% of the Melee Melee Pokedex completed. Cool. They pick fights indiscriminately. They grow stronger and more powerful each time they faint or are injured. I do want to state that that is just for the Pokedex. Do not actually make this Pokemon faint or become injured because, well, they have to be injured in battle, but... Don't actually make them fade. It will not make them more powerful. <laughs> That's just the uh, Pokedex entry. 
like, I know there are a few Pokedex entries like that, like Pichu's, for example, it states that because it doesn't have control over its electric um, power that it hurts itself in battle. Um, yet, that's actually not an issue in the actual game. Um, uh, let's do Rufus because that was the first name that came to mind, and I'm pretty sure I haven't used this one yet. Rufus, I will add you to my party, and I will swap you out for William. Okay, let's battle. Each Pokemon possesses an ability. Understanding these well leads to victory. Yeah, you have a point there. You are challenged by Rising Star Ian. Okay, so another Rising Star character. Sent out Psyduck. Okay, let's go. Psyduck level 13, so I will definitely switch you out for this. Um, hmm. Switch out to Priscilla because she needs the uh, experience. Use Water Gun. Okay. That's fine. 10 damage, that's not bad. Um, let's go with Rock Smash. Because I will lower um, Psyduck's defense, or not. It has the chance to, delo to lower the uh, enemy's defenses, but apparently um, we decided not to do that. Let's use Supersonic. Of course it did. Okay, I need to use a potion on Priscilla after this. Oh, that reminds me, I need to go buy potions. So I'll make her health go up to 30. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah, let's switch out to Mark, because Mark has a, has an ability that's super effective against um, Psychic Pokemon. The uh, Bite move. Because it's a Dark-type move. I should use Fake Out. Oh, well, whatever. I can't use Fake Out now. It's actually not super effective, which means this Pokemon is probably Water Psychic, then. Ugh. No, I did not mean to do that. Um, I can't use Patrick for this. Let's switch out to Max. Whoa. Use Force Palm. Oh. Jesus. Oh, okay. That works for me. I couldn't show off the effects of abilities? I guess not. Oh, hey, the shopkeep has something to say to me. Oh, you have a sparkling Z crystal. You cleared Illumus trial. Yeah, I did. Congratulations. Now you can purchase more items, so... Welcome to the Pokemart. May I help you? Wait, what? I can poke... Oh. Oh, hey, I can purchase Great Balls now. And I can purchase Super Potions now. 
and I didn't have this option before because I wasn't seen as worthy, I guess. Um, so let's... no, let's buy... buy 19 of these, because I like to have at least 20 potions on me at a time. And this one... Oh, that's all that's all I can do? No, I just increased it by 10. I need to buy 15 of these, which took up half of my money. Yeah, that's good. Um, and I think I'm good on everything else. Cool. Yeah. Does that mean you sell new stuff too now? Yeah, you do. You sell the heal ball and the nest ball and the luxury ball now. Um, oh yeah, this one naturally um, raises a Pokemon's affection if used on it. Um, nest ball becomes more effective the lower the level the wild Pokemon is, so if you want to go back and catch low-level Pokemon for any reason, Nest Ball is great for that. And then you have the Heal Ball, self-explanatory. Now oh, let's see. There are new encounters in this area, and there's a Pokeball on the ground over there. I will go get that. Found it! Deli Bird. Which we've seen before, but we haven't fought it before, so... Ooh, level 10. Nice. Um, let's go with Wing Attack. Used present. Um, this could be good or bad. Oh, it's bad. Okay. Sometimes present can actually reward the enemy instead of hurting it. Um, like it can, uh, accidentally heal. Um, well, not accidentally, but there's a chance that it can heal your opponent instead of, uh, harm them. Oh god, no. Use present again. Whoa! Please do not bring friends into this battle. Thank you. Okay, Rufflet, I think that's enough. Let's switch you with, um... With Priscilla. Yeah, Priscilla gained a level when I had a uh, Rufflet fight uh, one of the sparrows around here. Priscilla avoided the attack. Good. Stop calling for help. Ah, I was successful. No. Um. We need to level 12, though. Use Echoed Voice. Use... Actually, no. Use... Which one of these deals more damage? I think... Okay, Rock Smash does. Use Rock Smash on the Deli Bird on the right. Nice. Hey, Rufus leveled up. Look at that. Use present. Okay, that one didn't deal as much damage. That's also another thing about the present ability. It deals random damage as well, which makes it super annoying. Um, use supersonic on uh, Deli Bird. Ah, of course it did. Come on. Fine. Use pack. No, please stop. My God. Uh, 
Well, this is the reason why I bought potions. Really now. The jelly bird is an ice flying type, which means that it's weak to fighting moves. Okay. But it's also a flying type, so it doesn't fully deal. <sighs> so I might get KO'd. Nope. She'll barely live. Um, use a super potion on Priscilla. For some reason, I thought Echoed Voice could hit more than one target. Critical hit. Okay. Just use... Use Rock Smash on the level 10 Jelly Bird. Okay, thank you for getting out of the battle. Do not call for your friends again, please. Oh, hey, Max leveled up. So learn Whirlwind. I forget what that does. Target is blown away and a different Pokemon is dragged down in the wild. This ends a battle against a single Pokemon. So the same thing as Roar. Um... No, I'm good. Okay, good. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna use a great ball. Come on. Hold. Am I really going to have to use an Ultra Ball on this? Yeah, see? Like I said, present can sometimes uh, heal the opponent. Um, okay, let's go for an Ultra Ball then. I can't buy Ultra Balls yet, but uh, let's hope that this works. Okay. Okay. I don't know if um, the wild Pokemon have a limited number of friends that they can call. Um, I don't think that's how that works. I'm going to switch and use Fake Out with um, Monk. See if that deals just enough damage to get its health in the red. Hopefully it does, because I don't want to accidentally um, KO it. How much damage does this deal? 40. Eh. It's risky, but going to go for it anyway.
probably won't work again. Yeah. Try using a great ball again. Right. No. Does this do? Causes confusion. I'm gonna have to rely on that. Come on. Please slap yourself. No, of course not. Thundershock on the level 9. Patrick leveled up. Look at that. Oh, Abraham leveled up as well. Cool. Do not hit yourself again, please. Thank you. Jeez, you're strong. Use next Pokemon. I've got this at this point. Um, bring out Priscilla again. Go into my bag. I'm just gonna curl an ultra ball and hope that this works. Come on. Yes, finally. Jeez, please. to learn the move Pluck. I believe Pluck allows the Pokemon to be able to take um, an item that the Pokemon is holding, as well as deal damage. Um, the target's holding a berry, the user eats it and gains its effects. Okay. Um, so, is this a better version of Peck? It is. So, let's do that. That was really stressful. Opera's evolving. Abraham's evolving. Awesome, now you can actually learn moves and not just have teleport. Congratulations, your Abraham evolved into Cadaver. And unfortunately, I don't think I can get um, Alakazam, which is its last evolution, because I'm pretty sure you have to trade this Pokemon for that, and I can't trade. It 
theory exists that this Pokemon was a young boy who couldn't control his psychic powers and ended up transformed into this Pokemon. That's a little bit creepy. Um, okay then. Abraham learned Kinesis. Learn anything else? No? Okay. Daily Bird's data will be added to the Pokedex. Okay, and this is its only form. Although it naturally prefers colder locales, Deli Bird and Alola seem to seem able to withstand the heat to a certain extent. The delivery Pokemon, Ice and Flying. Would I have to give Deli Bird a nickname? Yes, I would. Um, let's go with Dennis because I'm pretty sure I haven't used that name yet. Um, add to my party. I will swap you for one of my fainted Pokemon. I will swap you for Mark. Oh, hello. Um, oh, well, I guess we're battling. Hi. Do you have preferences about the type of moves in addition to the type of Pokemon? Um, sometimes, yes. You are challenged by Rising Star to Tatiana. Sorry, couldn't read her name for a second. Sent out the Tilly? Oh, okay. This is a Pokemon I'm unfamiliar with. Level 13. Ooh. Um, let's use Wing Attack. Nice! Oh, almost okay. I'll use Mega Drain. Not very effective. Nice. Okay, Wing Attack one more time. Nice. Good job. More preferences, please! We didn't even get to see her uh, Pokemon's full kit. <laughs> there's a type for moves, just like there's a type for Pokemon. When the move type is the same as the Pokemon type, it's more powerful. I knew that already, but thank you for that. I guess. Um, I haven't been through this middle path yet, and I don't want to get ambushed by Ruffwood or Sparrow, so I'm going to avoid that. There's a Pokeball here, though. Sharp Beak. Another one. Okay, cool. Makes sense, because there are bird Pokemon in this area. I'm going to follow the shadow, but try not to get caught by the shadow. Okay, and there's nothing over here. Okay. That's all I wanted to check. What's this? Oh, well, it's where I'm supposed to go. Melee Melee Meadow, a paradise where the Oriko Rio dance. Okay. Cool. Let's go in here. Because that's actually a Pokemon that I need. Oh, there's Lily. I guess uh, Kakui didn't check in here. Nebby? Nebby, come back! Oh, Nebby escaped again. Ah, Viola. Nebby ran off into the meadow here. Oh. And right after it got into so much trouble on the bridge, too. What if a wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it can use to battle. What are you talking about? What is that big burst of energy we keep seeing from Nebby? That's not an attack move? Hurry up and save Nebby already. We little Pokemon need all the help we can get. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. Um, 
So let's see. I just want to look around real quick, and I'm glad I did. Another great ball. Cool. I'm going to need that. And I saw a few trainers around here. Yeah, like this one. I'm pretty sure I can stand right here and fight her, but I'm not going to do that right now. Because I... Oh, hey, there's a hidden item in the uh, grass over there. Yellow nectar. Okay, so I was wrong. What does that do? A flower nectar obtained at Melee Melee Meadow. It changes the form of a certain species of Pokemon. Huh. Interesting. Okay, cool. Okay, my Rufflet now has this level 2 affection. Great, so now I just need to do the same for my Delibird. A netball. Oh, hey! I found the Wild or Korea. This is the pom pom variety. Um, I guess we'll use present and hope that it works in our favor. I love this um, Oria Cor. Oh, whatever. Ori Korea's. Oh, it doesn't affect. What? Oh. Like, at all? Or was that just a fluke? Avoided the attack. Okay. Well, um, Dennis, it was nice having you in the fight. I need to switch out to someone else, though. Um. I guess we'll do this. It's pound. That's the first move that I have. Interesting. Um, use acid spray. So it knows peck, pound, and Probably an electric type move, because this is an electric flying type. Let's use poison gas on it. Use helping hand. You don't have a friend with you, so you can't use helping hand. Okay, well we know it now knows it also has help helping hand. Let's use pound. And I'm just gonna spam poison gas because it won't work and let the poison take down its health a little bit more. And it knows growl. Okay, so those are the four moves it knows. Yeah, it knows absolutely no electric type moves. Interesting. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. Let's use a regular Pokeball. I don't know why the game has to stall to think about that. Of course I go first if I'm using a Pokeball. No! Okay, I've got to upgrade um, to a Great Ball right now. Um, Actually, you know what? Ultra Ball. Let's just ensure that I get this, please. Nice. Great Ball probably would have worked. I just didn't want to risk it because the poison would have killed it. Um, but that didn't work. Nice. 
Marie Korea's data will be added to the Pokedex. Let's see. This Oricorio has sipped bright yellow nectar. Its bright, cheerful dance melts the hearts of its enemies. The pom-pom style. I think this one's my favorite. Yes, I do. And this one was female. Um, let's go with... Let's go with Isabel. Where do you want to send Isabel to? I want to add you to my party. And let's have you switch with... Gary. Finally. Okay, let's go, Isabel. Um, let's use Pound. Use Growth. Does that do? Attack up. Okay. Why are you calling for help? Okay, good. Critical hit, nice. Okay, um, let's go ahead and use a Pokeball on Cottony. Uh oh. Why the Pokeball shake like that? Oh! Okay, apparently if the Pokeball shakes like that in midair, it's a guaranteed catch? I've never noticed that before. Wow! Cottony. When it finds others of its kind, they all stick together. When enough of them have collected, the mass resembles a... Columbinous cloud. Okay. I don't think I read that cloud type right, but you get the picture. The cotton puff Pokemon. Grass fairy. Yes, I do want to name Cottony. Female. So let's go with Kathy. And no, that's not the same as Catherine. It's different. Um, add to my party. Don't want to swap. I'll swap you for Doug. Okay, so I've caught all of the new Pokemon in this area. Um, so what I'm going to do next time is fight all the trainers in this area, um, which should get the Pokemon that I that I just caught up to level 15, and then I'll go help Nebby. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, as well as support my Patreon, and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more, and if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.